Hello everyone, welcome into my channel. Be out back prospecting. Today we're all set up. We're set up outside. We're going to be going through a couple bags of pay dirt today. We're going to be going through, this is uh, from uh, the Outpost, Georgia pay dirt. Uh, came in with uh, no label on it. Uh, this is every time I get a couple pay dirts in with no labels on it. Uh, it's kind of aggravating, but like I said, this is from uh, the outpost there, Georgia pay dirt. Uh, never done one of these pay dirt bags. Uh, this is one of their smaller bags. I think it's a two pound bag. Uh, there is no guaranteed amount of gold in this bag, so. But we're going to uh, classify it down, run it down our dream mat, and then we're going to be going through the uh, Irwin's pay dirt there. This is the original bag. Uh, we're just going to pan this out since it's, this is their sampler bag, small bag. Uh, these two bags are similar in price, just a few dollars difference between the two of them. So we're going to. Uh, Take a look and see uh, who's got the uh, the better bag of dirt here, full of gold. So we're gonna get this water turned on. Uh, well, we better classify it down first. Kind of getting ahead of myself. So we'll go ahead and open up this big bag here. Take a look at the material in here. That's a beautiful day out back here for sure. Very blessed day sun is shining all oh, this right here it's like sand just pure sand i don't know if you guys can see that kind of in a shadow but yeah it's just pure sand in there so shouldn't take too long and it's actually wet it's wet too the material is really wet so we won't be classifying this one. Uh, we'll just run it in the dream mat and uh, see what happens. Or we'll go ahead and take a look at this other material here. See what it looks like. I have done a bag from this pay dirt here company before. And the last time I got it in, it did not have a label on it. So I'm glad it had a label anyway. So thanks for that. If I remember right, the last one was full of a lot of black sand, but it was the 49ers challenge. Yeah, this is definitely different looking material here. So looks like some bigger stuff in here. Uh, looks like it might still have some black sand in it. So we'll just go ahead and dump this out anyway and take a peek at it. We'll classify it down. Kitchen strainer size. There is uh, not very much material in this stuff. Yeah, it's pretty dusty stuff. Uh, at least it's dry. I do like my pay dirt when I get it in to be dry. I do see a piece of gold right there. So, yeah. Looks really good. I see all kinds of little bitty small gold in this stuff. Pretty happy with what I see. Oh, I do see a bigger piece of gold right there. Right on the top. Yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. Beautiful piece of gold right there. Nice and shiny. So yeah. Alright. So that's a look at the bigger stuff. And there's some other stuff. This won't take long at all to pan out. 
So that's why we're just gonna pan that bag out. But we're gonna run this other one down the sloughs. I would like to classify it out, but it is wet. So I don't want to do it while it's wet. Uh, we're gonna look here and see if there's any magnetics in this other bag. Why well, it's good and dry. There is a little bit in there, not too much. So, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to pan out. All right, we're gonna get some water turned on here and get started. Stuff ran here. Uh, there is a lot of stuff that's stuck in the bag. We'll have to rinse it out, a lot of material in there, and this stuff is just pure sand. So, yeah, there's a lot of it, but it's pure sand. So, we're just going to uh, get this ran here. Give it a little bit. We'll go ahead and start with rinsing the bag out. Putting it in the green mat. bucket all set up here. Alright, so here we go. Let's get some gold. Start getting rid of all these air bubbles in here. Quite a few of them. Looks good to me. Alright. So here we go. Gonna wet it on up a little bit. Take two off the wrong to run this stuff. This is definitely just pure sand. Some black sand in it. I do see some gold.
Okay, let's do it until it's uh, pretty quick. Just a little bit. It is a beautiful day up day up the shore. Uh, sun shining, getting warm outside finally. Uh, sun's coming nice and green. That's why uh, one of my favorite times of year right here. Big fan of the uh, this place on Taylor. I haven't got it before. But it's not my favorite. But as long as we find some gold, I guess it'll be all right. Piece of uh, looks like pyrite in here, maybe. Or what that was yet. This is a gold and gem bag, so it could be some kind of gemstone. See some gold in here. Looking pretty good. Just a little bit in the green hat. There ain't nothing in there to call it a green yet, but it's in there. To the end here, get it to the end. 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 So hold on to the nugget, buddy. All right.
probably go ahead and run that through the green mat one more time just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Definitely just pure play sand. Get some gold in it. Chirping today. Beautiful day. Not bad. And definitely blessed. Blessed to be able to do this. And have fun doing it. Some gold in this stuff, so I don't see what the end result is, but I do see some gold in the green hat. I just wanted to run it through again just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Got it all in there. Turn the water off. Thank you. Just good. See, there we go. 
It don't look like a whole bunch. But there is some gold in it. So, yeah. All right. Gold's gold. I do not see none down here towards the bottom. I do see one piece here that made it down towards the bigger riffle here. Let's see if I can show you the guys and gals. That's hard to see. Yeah, either way. Uh, yeah, all right. So there's our concentrates and our sluice. We're going to get this all set up at our panning station. And yeah, I'll bring in back uh, when we're ready to pan all this out. Hello right, everyone, welcome back in to my channel. Be out back prospecting. Uh, we have all that ran. We have our concentrates from out of our dream mat into this pan so we're going to pan this stuff out here and take a look at the gold uh, there is definitely not much concentrates in this stuff out of the dream mat i did not classify it due to uh it was just sand and it was wet so i didn't even classify it down but yeah this is fresh water so we're gonna add a little bit of cascade rinse aid three and one power dry uh, this stuff is really strong. It's just to break the surface tension of the water, keep small gold from floating away. And gold can become hydrophobic and take off and it will float right up to the top of the water, especially small gold. So yeah, we're gonna add a little bit of this because uh, we do have some small gold in here. And this stuff is really strong. It does not take much. It smells really good, so yeah. We got that in there. So let's spin this back and take a look at our gold. May try to uh, pan a little bit here. Pan a little bit out. Just get some of this stuff off the top. Yeah, it's coming right out of there. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll just pan a little bit. Make it a little bit easier. So, yeah, yeah, there ain't much in there. We'll just spin it back, take a look at it first, and then I'll finish panning it on out. Yeah, we'll dump some of that water out. And let's see if we can't see some of our gold here. There's definitely some black sand in this stuff. See if I can lower this down a little bit. It's kind of hard to pan. See a little bit better what I'm doing. There is some gold in here, some shiny, shiny stuff. I don't see no real tiny gold in it. Looks like uh, all the flower gold has been removed out of it. And I think they do state on their website there that. Uh, they do remove in the screen the wash process all the tiny flower gold so ain't too much of a challenge here whether there's some of that big stuff in there in my way so yeah all right so there's a look at our gold right there bring us in show you this stuff yeah, good looking stuff right there. Really shiny. Uh, not sure of uh, 
what carrot this would be. I will be making a video very soon on uh, testing the testing the quality of the carrot over a gold. I have several different pay dirt sellers there we'll be testing the uh, carrot on. So yeah, that's good looking stuff right there. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna finish cleaning this one up and I'll bring this back when I got this cleaned up. All right, welcome back in everybody. Have that all cleaned up. That's the gold that we found out of that. Uh, did not find any small gold whatsoever. It was uh, all mesh gold. There was no flower gold in the black sand at all. Uh, just quite a bit to go through there for not one piece. But, oh well, that's good looking stuff right here. Uh, uh, was not much of a challenge to go through this. Like I said this was all play sand. But some shiny gold here, that's the main key. So, sure glad uh had gold in it. Don't know what that away yet, but we will uh, get this all dried out and then we'll weigh it after we uh, finish panning out our uh, other bag here from our ones. So yeah, all right. So, well, I'll bring this back when we're ready to pan that out. All right, everyone, welcome back here. We have all of our uh, smaller classification out of our one's paid our bag in our pan here. So yeah, we're gonna wet this stuff up and pan it out a little bit. See if we can't find us some gold here. Stuff is really dry and pretty dirty too. Definitely gonna muddy up the water here. So we'll just clean it up a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Pure milkshake for sure. Yeah, we're just uh, shaking all of our heavies towards the bottom here. Cleaning it up. We're we'll gonna take a look at it right quick. Got some good looking stuff here. Definitely ain't uh, play sand, that's for sure. So, happy about that. Alright, uh, so we're gonna do a little pan. See if we can find some smaller gold. And uh, that other bag, I, I didn't see, but maybe one tiny little piece of flower gold in that stuff. It was all kind of like mesh gold. Pretty though. Just wasn't no big ones though. But it was a cheaper bag. So, can't complain too much. I will go all the way back through these concentrates here. Just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Seems like it's uh, blowing out pretty good. It's nice and steady. Usually them uh, riffles do a really good job about capturing that gold, keeping it in her pan. Uh, I definitely pan a little bit fast. Uh, that's just what I'm used to. I'm kind of watching over the edge too and see if I see anything coming over it. I ain't seen anything yet. I'm watching on the corners and the back just to see if I can see anything poking out. I do see some gold poking through the back there, it looks like. Sorry to get down to the bottom here. So this stuff flowed out pretty easy. Not too hard. Alright, 
Let's see if we can't just spin it back, take a look at the gold, and I'll clean it on up. Oh yeah, come right through there. Look at that, hydrophobic. Gold on top of the water. Can you see that? Right there, that one piece. Definitely don't got enough uh, cascade in there. Yep, right there it is. So yeah, gonna add a little bit more cascade to it. Uh, just really tiny gold and that tiny gold it it can absolutely take off and float on you but yeah let's give you a look at it here so then I'll clean it on up a few other pieces here So there's a look at our gold. Good looking stuff right there. Oh yeah, look at that. That's some beautiful gold. Definitely uh, kind of smile, but yeah, beautiful stuff. All right, well I'm gonna finish cleaning all this up and I'll bring this back when I get that done. Well, welcome back in everyone. We got that all cleaned up. And now we're going to go through our large, larger classification here. See if we can't find some big gold. So yeah, here we go. This larger stuff wasn't as dirty as that smaller stuff. Well, I'm just going to pan this out a little bit. I did see one piece when I was classifying it, so uh, I know there's at least one piece in this larger classification. Yeah, some of this stuff's kind of heavy. You want to set in there. Have to be kind of careful with it. It's kind of heavy. Uh, if you ain't careful, you'll lose your gold. I'm just watching what's coming over the end there. Hopefully all our gold staying in the ripples there. I do see some back there in the back, in the bottom. That's about as far as we're gonna take it for right now. Just put in this bag and take a look at our gold. several pieces in there good looking stuff too boy that's shiny that's some pretty gold right there all right yeah happy about that Got four pieces right there bring us in show you this that's some pretty stuff right there. Look at that. Now that's some, that's some pretty gold. For sure. Good looking stuff. Alright. I'm going to finish painting all this out. Put this in a bottle. And uh, we'll get this dried out. And I'll bring this back when we're ready to weigh these bags up. Uh, welcome back in everyone. We have our gold all dried out from our first bag. I said that bag is from uh, the Outreach. It's Georgia, pay dirt. Uh, 
It's a thirty-five dollar golden gem bag. We did not find too much gold out of this bag, so we're gonna get it put on the scale and see what it weighs here. Go ahead and set a little bolt on there. We'll just start, turn it on. Hit a zero out as it turns on. All right, we're all zeroed out. So yeah, we're gonna get this put on the scale and see what this weighs here. So this is some smaller stuff. Uh, there is one piece in here that's kind of dirty. And then the other. Uh, it's kind of shiny. But yeah, here we go. Let's see if I just can't bring it to it. Keep maybe spilling in here. This is some small mesh gold. And that's it. There is no flower gold in this stuff. So, yeah, there we go. We have 0 0.321 grams of gold. This is from the Outreach Gold from Georgia. I had never done these, this cellar before. Uh, so yeah, this, this bag was $35. So, yeah. Uh, it's some pretty stuff. It's it's definitely shiny. It's gold in her pan. So yeah, can't uh, blame too much, but uh, as far as like an ROI or anything, uh, I may calculate it up and put that all in the comments just to let you guys know if this was a good buy or not. Uh, I was not a fan of the dirt that it came in. It was just all play sand. Uh, I don't like the play sand. I actually like going through like gold bearing dirt. And uh, this was not. It was just all sand. But yeah. Like I said there, uh, not too bad. It did go up a little bit. Uh, my scale wear, I don't, I'm not sure. It just seemed like it counts up a little bit. But I'll take it back off and put it on there. We'll look at it one more time. So, yeah, maybe a little bit more than that, I thought. 0 0.337 grams of gold. So, yeah. Not too bad. We did find some gold. That's, that's about all that matters. So... Yeah, I may need to get another scale. I'm not entirely sure if that's right or or what, but yeah, I'd say it's pretty close. 0 0.343 grams. But yeah, that's what we're going to go with and we're going to get this off the scale and uh, get her other all put on the scale and I'll bring this back and we're ready to put that other bag on there. Oh, welcome back in everyone. We have our gold all dried out from the other ones paid our bag. So yeah, we're going to uh, put this stuff on scale and see what weighs here. There wasn't too much in this one either, but like I said, this these was both smaller bags. They was really uh, similar in price. The other one's bag was $30 free shipping and then the Outpost Georgia pay dirt was $35. So there's $5 difference between these bags. So yeah, here we go. Let's put this on the scale and see what we got. Put this uh, main big bigger piece on first. Yeah, not, not too much there. Uh, this bag did have some little gold. I went some bigger gold in it, so happy about that. I do like finding all uh, classifications of gold, but yeah, that's it. So there we go. We have zero point three one one grams of gold. So yeah, not bad. 
uh, some beautiful gold right there. That one there's a beautiful little picker for sure. I am I do like that one for sure. It's a it's a beautiful piece. This is some definitely some shiny gold here. So yeah, really enjoyed it. Uh, was uh, some different uh, material for sure. I did like this material better than the sand. But yeah, there we go. So there's you go right there. Uh, if you do enjoy my videos and watch me go through these pay dirt bag adventures, uh, if you want to, you can subscribe and uh, smash that like button, share. Uh, definitely helps out the channel. Uh, said you guys can do that if you want. And if you don't, just enjoy the show. Uh, I really enjoy going through this stuff. And we got some more pay dirt coming in from Australia very soon. Two different, two different bags again. Uh, going to be a really, really good video coming up. It will be a giveaway video for my over 100 subs here. So, yeah, I'm very happy about that. Excited about that. Cannot wait to get that stuff in. We go through it. And then, you will have to guess the weight on it. And somebody's going to win some of that, that gold out of that bag. Out of one of them paid up sellers from Australia. So, yeah, got that coming in. Really excited about that. Cannot wait to get it on film and show you the guys and let you just comment on it and guess the weight on that gold. So, yeah, somebody's going to be really happy and get some high carat quality gold from Australia. So, yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned and come back for uh, another adventure with Be Out Back Prospecting with me. Travis. So I'll see you guys soon. Take care, everyone.